Diablo 4 releases heal as uh, long as you bought one of the collector editions. But nonetheless, uh, you might be curious what exactly is going on with the cat shop now that we can actually look at it, see what's happening, figure out prices, and so much more. And of course, today I'm going to be here to break down everything you need to know for the time being about the cat shop, as well as some um, news that, depending on how they're going to go, might be not the greatest. But nonetheless, before we hop into all that, welcome back to your number one stop for a Diablo 4 gameplay how to's and of course all that jazz but before we hop into this i do want to give a giant thank you to everybody that's supporting over on patreon.com slash mac on for june and of course a giant thank you to 1k for subscribing at the lunar teal and with that let's go ahead let's hop into this and let go bull if you gonna be out so much money on diablo or not so to start off here, we are talking about real money. And I know we all have complained about it, but you know, AAA games here with a full plight game, of course, having microtransaction, and of course, Diablo 4 is no this in here. Just know before we get into that at the time of that video anyway, since this is still only assets, we do not have asset to the battle pass, and that will be coming later down the line. And of course, I will have a video about that want that become live in a game but for the time being or what you can bet from the cat shop is a call by heading on over to the shop tab uh we do have a pretty much a whole bunch of Detroit cosmetic that is one thing good i can say about that for the time being they were not lying when they said it is going to be mainly cosmetic field with no stats or boots of any kind here for the time being but just know this all could change. But as you can see here, uh, we do have a whole bunch of recommended stuff. I'm a court playing as a necromancer. So, of course, we're going to get a lot of necromancer stuff. And, of course, you can go ahead and see what the full set looked like on the white side. As well as every single item that's going to be coming in here. As well as each of the skin for the weapon, armor, and how much it costs. And from there, we do have some break down here with, of course, all the classes where you can search for your Pacific class and or what it actually have here. We do have also mounts as well uh, that you can go ahead and buy a little accessory or outfit for them as well here. So, congratulations, Horse Armor is officially a back in style here. So, as you can see, for most of the Horse Armor stuff, you are looking at anywhere from 800 a premium uh, to about a uh, 1,500 and then of course when you start getting into the cosmetic uh, for the actual characters that can of course, go once again from 800 all the way up uh, to 2,500 so you might be wondering what exactly do that translate to in actual money and of course that answer is well pretty much down to the dartle heel so as you can see, the platinum and the real money literally does translate one dollar equal one hundred, and will stay that way up to ten dollars. Once you start getting beyond that, we start getting you know of course the extra amounts that you can get on top of it. Uh, with of course uh, twenty five bucks will get you twenty eight hundred, fifty will of course get you fifty seven hundred, and of course a hundred dollar will go ahead. And I get you a 11,500 of the premium currency. Uh, so, as you can go ahead and see here, now that you know what the actual chain weight is, if you are looking at picking up a full set of equipment or the more higher tier uh, cosmetic set, you are going to be out $25 per outfit here. And of course, as you can see here, some of the other classes do get a little bit cheaper. Uh, because at the time of this, uh, most of the classes don't really have like the quote unquote like full set, other than right now being a druid as well as sorceress. And the thing is, as you probably just noticed, is that once we get up here to druid, for whatever reason, it an extra dartle for some reason here. And then barbarian is a little bit cheaper, 
and so on with the recommended stuff. So as you can see, the pricing is kind of a little all over the plate uh, for the different classes. Um, I'm a little sad about that. I was kind of hoping uh, that we will have more of a set weight if we're going to go the route of uh, microtransaction. Uh, but as you can tell, that's not quite <laughs> what is happening here. Uh, so effect to maybe be paying a 25 bucks for one set, maybe 15 for another. Uh, but with that being said, we do have one more little shop here, which is called the add-on here. Uh, so, of course, this is well, you can go ahead, buy the premium currency, and you can then upgrade whatever account you have. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, pay the amount uh, to upgrade here. And, of course, we do have a straight money currency as well, where you can go ahead and pick up a horse, or a Pacific horse anyway, for a seven dollar if you want a very pacific mount but as you can see right now that is pretty much all we have available 100 just version upgrade as well as straight up cosmetic but elite the good thing i can say here any of the pricing is a little all over the plate it's lucky enough there was no rng once you actually look at the item or the category you know specifically what you're going to be getting and of course, you can go ahead and uh, grab this stuff uh, from uh, your wardrobe back in the main city. And of course, you can go ahead and find it lifted in here inside of, of course, uh, all your tran marked up. And of course, this is pretty much right now how this is operating. But there is one little thing that may be semi bad news, other than, of course, the scheduling itself, which have to do with that actual timing inside of the shop uh, since as of now it looked like this is going to be refreshing every a uh, few days uh, to bring in a new equipment so we do got a little bit of FOMO happening here but the thing that is kind of annoying right now especially with all the assets is a quote that fourth round up stuff that is for sale is going to be a filing at the time of that video in three day six hours so literally the stuff of the filing right around the time that of course the game will go live for anybody who is picking up the regular edition of the game and i have no idea what it means it's just gonna reset it is up going away um because they just say shop refret uh so some of this stuff uh, might not even be available for you if you're planning on picking it up uh at launch or the official launch anyway that got me a little worried for you guys that might be coming in on the six uh hopefully that not the case and the like plates hold up and of course you guys will be able to pick up the stuff if any of this interests you or hopefully if not this stuff will refresh back fairly quickly i have honestly no idea what exactly is the plan at fall like how much stuff is made as well as how much stuff gonna be coming back every like you know few days or every couple of weeks i'm not for sure uh so hopefully that won't be the case and you guys will be able to get your hands on this stuff if you want but something to keep in mind here if any of the cosmetic that is available right now is interesting to you um i i don't know i can't get pay extra to get the collector edition i guess but nonetheless that pretty much the, the only option here. Like I said, I'm a little I'm a little worried about that, but I get we will see how that shakes out here in a few days. But as of now, that is what the cat shop look like inside of Diablo 4. Once again, I will update you guys as we keep making progress here and we start getting the battle pass unlocked as well as whatever else might come in the meantime between then. Uh, so, if you haven't already and you found that video helpful, make sure you just thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the bells below uh, to keep up uh, with if Diablo is going to become horribly shady or not. If not already in your eyes, let me know in the comment how you feeling about the cat shop. And of course, uh, like always, I will go ahead and see you in the comments.